Hello, thank you for watching. In this very short video, I would like to explain very briefly what a patch of the Tony does. Uh, this question comes up a lot, so let's, let's uh, answer it. Uh, before we, I begin, you know, just to make sure we are, we are on the same page uh, as to what a patent attorney uh, uh, is. So a patent attorney is obviously a licensed attorney in the, in the state in which the, the attorney uh, practices law. Uh, but besides that, a, a patent attorney, who's sometimes called a registered patent attorney, is also a registered attorney with the USPTO. In order to do that, you need to have an undergraduate degree in, a, in engineering or, or some science major in order to qualify to take a patent bar uh, exam, and you obviously need to pass that, and then you become a registered patent attorney with, with a patent office. That's why not all attorneys can be a patent attorney because if they have a political science major, for example, um, they cannot sit for that patent bar exam. You need to have an engineering degree um, or a science major degree. I, for example, have, have an engineering degree before I went to law school, and uh, became, that's how I became a registered patent attorney. So what does a patent attorney does, uh, do on a daily basis? Uh, I divided the work in, in three sections. I hope this will help understand it a little bit better. Uh, first section, I, uh, it's called patent prosecution. Second section is called uh, enforcement of, of the patents. And the third section is called litigation. What happens in the prosecution section? What type of work does the patent attorney do? Uh, a patentability, patentability search and analysis is sometimes that often uh, a patent attorney does. And what happens here, you know, the, the client invents something and maybe they are not very familiar with that technological field, uh, with the prior art, and they, they want the um, patent attorney to conduct a patent search and, and advise on whether or not the invention is likely to be patentable by the patent office. Uh, so that's something a patent attorney do, does, conduct searches or hire somebody to conduct searches and reviews the search report and advises, advises the client as to the patentability of that invention. Let's say the results are positive and the invention appears to be patentable, then a patent application is drafted, is written if you want, drawings, specification, claims, it's, it's prepared to be filed, and it's filed with the USPTO. Uh, once the application is filed with the USPTO, at a certain point, they will, the application will be picked up by the examiner, and uh, sometimes the examiner will issue office actions. It's the job of the patent attorney to prosecute this application. This is sometimes called the prosecution phase of the application, from filing to grant. So it's the job of the patent attorney to deal with office actions, to see why the examiner is not uh, allowing all the claims to issue um, as, a, as a patent. Uh, the, uh, the patent attorney will have to review the office action, you know, and, and negotiate, uh, argue, and, and fight if, if necessary with the, with the examiner to get the patent granted with the claims desired. In the enforcement uh, section, uh, I listed here three typical uh, 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 services that a patent attorney offers and the work, uh, the work he does. And in the enforcement phase, uh, cease and desist letters are, are very common. Let's say uh, our client has a patent and somebody infringes that patent. Uh, we will conduct first an infringement analysis to uh, ascertain that that patent of our client is indeed infringed. And if it is, then we will send a cease and desist letter to that infringe, infringer asking him to stop. Or sometimes, if the client agrees to that, maybe negotiate a licensing deal um, and move that way forward. Uh, we do the reverse as well. If our clients uh, receive a cease and desist letter, we will do an infringement analysis. And if there is no infringement, we will push back, we will fight 
that cease and desist letter, or if appears to be infringement, again, maybe a licensing deal can be negotiated. We also do what is called freedom to operate analysis. Uh, this is when you design a new product you, and you want to launch that new product in the marketplace, but you want to have some peace of mind that you are not likely to infringe somebody else's patent. So uh, a patent search will be conducted with the most relevant patents, maybe narrow them down to the most relevant uh, patents as to that particular product, and uh, a determination is made whether or not that new product is likely to infringe anybody's patent. Um, if it's the, the answer is negative, obviously you can launch that product with some degree of peace of mind that you're not going to have uh, uh, legal issues, uh, uh, claims of patent infringement against you down the line. The third section of, of the patent attorney work is what I call litigation. Um, so here, you know, we can file a patent infringement lawsuit against an infringer, infringer if, for example, they do not stop once we send the cease and desist letter. Obviously, we also defend our clients when they are hit with a patent infringement lawsuit, right? We will do the infringement analysis, we will do uh, invalidated analysis, and we will try to prove non-infringement, or we will try to invalidate the, uh, the, those patents that, that are asserted against our client. Obviously, if the lawsuit goes all the way to trial, we do conduct, we conduct patent trials as well. We go to trial, and, and uh, the dispute is resolved that way. So this is uh, briefly and generally what a patent attorney does. Now note that not all patent attorneys will do all of this, right? Some patent attorneys, they do not want to go beyond patent prosecution. They will just do the patent prosecution work. Patentable searches, application, finding with the examiner, getting the patent granted, that's it. They do not want to uh, deal with anything else. Some other patent attorneys, like myself, will do the other uh, sections as well, the other type of work, enforcement and even litigation. Uh, some patent attorneys will just do prosecution and enforcement, but no litigation. Now, please note that some patent litigators are not necessarily patent attorneys. They may be litigators, they have litigation experience, and they may litigate all type of cases, including patent cases. But they are not registered patent attorneys. Uh, so, but they will still try to litigate patent cases. Now, from what I saw, that could be a blind spot. You know, sometimes if you are just a litigator, but you don't have experience actually prosecuting applications to grant before the United States Patent and Trademark Office, uh, what is called the prosecution history of that patent could have some, some land, landmines there that a patent litigator might not always be aware of and, and maybe uh, uh, lose, uh, lose that, uh, that fight in court uh, when, when prosecuting the lawsuit in court. So a patent litigator is not always is not always a patent prosecutor, but a patent prosecutor could be also a patent litigator. Well, I hope this helps. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.